It is finally Friday, June 12th. You're watching The Daily Word, and I'm looking forward to the weekend. How about you? I'm going to jump right into tonight's word, which I think defines a little bit of the history that I'm going to be sharing with you. And the word is intrepid. Intrepid is resolutely fearless and brave. And it was on this day in 1963 that civil rights leader Medgar Evers was murdered in the driveway of his home in Jackson, Mississippi. He was the field secretary for the NAACP. He traveled widely in support of voting rights and school integration for African Americans. He was only 37 years old. He was a track star. He was in the U.S. Army in the Allied invasion in Europe. And when he came back to the U.S., he began his career as an activist. He immediately encountered all kinds of racism and violence. I'm not even going to go into that because it's uncomfortable and it's happening again. So he said that he was undeterred, that he was committed to serving the African-American community and getting equality. He was murdered by a Ku Klux Klan member named Byron de la Beckwith. And when he was rushed to the hospital, he was initially refused care because he was black. Evers was buried appropriately, by the way, in Arlington National Cemetery with full military honors. And it wasn't until 1994 when De La Beckwith, who was 74, was finally found guilty of first-degree murder for Mr. Evers, and the jury was made up of eight blacks and four whites, and that person died in prison. Take a breath. One more. On this day in 1967, the United States Supreme Court declared all state laws prohibiting the interracial marriage would be unconstitutional. And this was due to a case called Loving versus Virginia. Richard Loving uh, was a white man who was in love with his wife, Mildred, a black and Native American woman. They were sentenced to prison for one year. They took their case to Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, who referred them to the ACLU, and they found attorneys and fought the case. I'm not any more comfortable than you are that we're seeing stuff like that again. So I'm going to close with one more piece of history that's a little more, well, I can't say particularly upbeat, but it's worth noting. Today would have been the 91st birthday of Anne Frank. She was born in Germany in 1929. She died, oh God, sometimes doing this is difficult. She died at the age of 14 in a concentration camp, as you probably know, during the Holocaust. And it was due to the fact that she had been keeping a diary while they were being hidden to protect them from the Nazis. And the place where they lived was called the Secret Annex. There were eight people who lived there who had to adjust to certain routines about when each person could eat, go to the bathroom, talk, all of that to keep them protected. Now, when the diary was found and presented to her father, it was published in 1947 as Anne Frank, the Diary of a Young Girl. And it's been an iconic piece of literature, if you will, f ever since then, inspiring many people. And so what I want to do is close with a quote that she wrote, because I think it applies now. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I simply can't build up my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. I see the world gradually being turned into a wilderness. I hear the ever-approaching thunder which will destroy us too. I can feel the sufferings of millions and yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think it will all come out right, that this cruelty too will end, and that peace and tranquility will return again. Those who have courage and faith shall never perish in misery. Well, these three situations in history, I think, show how it is to be intrepid. 
relentlessly, fearlessly brave. And those stirring words from Anne Frank, written at the age of 14, I need to reread it again for me during what's going on in the world today. But if these people can hold true to what they know is right, their values, and what they believe in, what they died for, so can we. <sighs> Thanks for hanging in there with me on this one tonight. As I said, it was kind of a difficult day, and I look forward to bringing you something a bit lighter tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay sane, stay you.